Hi friends, this is Nirma Patel from Ox Education. In our previous videos, guys, we learned couple of three by three multiplication techniques like this and like this. But this technique works only if I'm multiplying three digit number with 999. And this technique works only if I do have zero in the middle. But do I have any technique? in which there is no restrictions. I can take any three digit by three digit number and I can still multiply them in few seconds. Yes, friends, that's what we are going to learn today. So let's say if I'm taking any number like 469, multiply by any random number guys, yeah? Like 748. And if I wanna multiply them, I can multiply that by using crisscross method. And that's what we are going to learn today. So guys, watch the entire video and master this technique. This is a very, very powerful concept because if you learn three by three multiplication successfully and some maths advantageous students, they can also try guys four by four multiplication by using Chris Koch method or even five by five. Personally, I have tried four by four multiplication five by five multiplication and also six by six multiplication successfully after this method i'm also going to put down guys four by four multiplication by using crisscross method before we learn three by three multiplication by a crisscross method. We are going to do one question with two by two multiplication guys. So you can have a bit of idea about crisscross method so that learning three by three crisscross method is going to be easy. Let us say if you know multiply 12 and 23 by crisscross method, the main step guys, we are going to go slow so you can understand everything. And then after we can definitely speed up. So the process is called like two, four two there are three steps there two four two so two that means in the first step we are going to multiply two numbers and then second step four numbers will be involved and the third step two numbers should be involved so the very first step is this last two digit guys last two digit whatever the things i'm going to write down here so two and three so that's what you are going to multiply two three is a six so i'll write down six here Simple. So my two is done. Now four. Four, I'll be using all four numbers. So I'm just writing down here one, two, two, and three. And I'll be just doing the cross multiplication here, guys. Guys, later we are not going to take all the steps. We'll be doing directly, but just to show it to you guys. So here we are going to do the cross multiplication and then we'll add them, guys. So two to za four. Three one za three. And four plus three is seven, which I'll write down here. So very simple guys. First thing, three twos are six here. Second step, cross multiplication. Three ones are three, two twos are four. Four plus three is seven, which is here. And last step, again, two digit. But this two digit is my two left digit, guys. So I'm just going to multiply one and two. This is just to show you guys, so you understand the process properly. So one times two is two which I'm going to write down here and I'm done with my question. So this is for two by two cross multiplication. And now we will learn three by three cross multiplication. Now we are going to multiply 123 with 213 by using crisscross method. I have taken the numbers relatively small so that you can understand the method clearly. I have also mentioned all the steps we are going to take. So we do have five steps. What are the five steps? I have mentioned right here as well. In the first step, there'll be two numbers involved. Second step, four numbers. Third step, six number. Fourth step, four number. And fifth step, again, two numbers. How and which numbers? I'm just going to going to tell you. So I'll be taking every step, step by step. So you can understand Then I'll put in my answer here. Once you understand the whole process, 
next question we'll be doing without any of these stops and you will be fine as well so very first step i have got my two numbers which two numbers just the right two numbers so right two numbers i'm going to start with so my step number one i got two numbers which are three multiplied by three which are these right two numbers i think very clear first step right two numbers i can multiply which is just three three is a nine which i can just put down here nine i'm done so my step number one is done step number two four numbers which four numbers so i'm just going to hide my first two number guys if i hide my first two numbers whatever you can see these four numbers are involved which i'm going to put down here guys so let us say two and three and then i can see one and three and i'll be just doing the cross multiplication of these guys yeah so four numbers which one i'm going to hide this and then i'll be doing the cross multiplication so two three is a six and one three is a three so these whatever is the numbers i'm going to add them two three is a six one three is a three six plus three is nine so that nine i'm going to write down here now my that step is also done now step number three this is an important step because as you can see six numbers are involved in this case so all the numbers are involved i'm going to write down here first so let us say one two and three and then i got a two one and three now how we are going to connect them so diagonally guys this will be multiplied here this will be multiplied here and the middle two will be multiplied with each other so you can see like three ones are three three twos are six and two ones are two and all three numbers we are going to add them together guys so three twos are six three ones are three six plus three nine and nine plus two eleven so i got eleven guys but i can write down two numbers here so we just write down only one here and one is a carry that carry i'm just taking for the next step whatever the answer i'm going to get in the next step i'll add this one yeah so my six is also done now my next step is four so again four digit i am going to focus on but this time i'll be hiding my last two digit guys and whatever you can see those four numbers i'm going to do cross multiply so i'll be taking here 12 and 21 now I'll just do the cross multiplication and add them so two twos are four one one are one four plus one is five but don't forget there's one carry as well so five plus one is going to be six which i'm going to write down here now the last step guys which is here and we can see there are two numbers in war and those two numbers are nothing else but your first two numbers guys so first two numbers is going to be one and two and then i can just multiply them so one two is a two and that's what i can write down here and this is my answer if you've got any confusion guys you can pause the video you can rewind it but all these steps you got to understand properly and then after if there is a like a bigger question harder question should not be a difficulty so now we are going to do one question which is going to be a bit more challenging this than this without any steps guys now in this question guys we are going to multiply 314 with 253 so this question is a bit bigger than the last question and we are going to do this without all the steps because you know it if you want to try this guys you can pause the video you can give it a go and then you can check with me as well or else whenever i'm doing it you can also do in your mind or pen and paper guys all right so again what is my first things two digit which two digit last two digit so i'm going to multiply them four threes are twelve so i'm going to write down two here and one carry carry i'm just writing in the side guys yeah because i can add that in the next step now my next step is four so which four number i'm going to focus on so i'm going to just hide my first two numbers can you see so i can see 14 and 53 and then i go to just do the cross multiplication of that 
3 ones are 3, 5 fours are 20, 5 fours are 20, 3 ones are 3. So 20 plus 3 is 23. But don't forget this carry. 23 plus 1 is 24. So I'm going to put down 4 here and 2 here. So now this is my carry. So I'll take it off here. So my 4 step is also done. Now the bigger step, guys. So you're going to be a little bit more, you know, like a, you need a patience, guys, here. So number which involve all the numbers. So 314, 253, everything. But here what we got to do, this diagonally cross multiplication. So 3 times 3. And then 2 times 4. And then 1 times 5. And we're going to add up everything, guys. So let us say 3, 3 is our 9. 2, 4 is our 8. 9 plus 8 is 17. And 17 and then 5 ones are 5. 17 plus 5, 22. 22 plus 2, 24. So I'm going to put on 4 here. And again, 2 is my carry, which is going to be the same. So that big step is also done, guys. Yeah. So now my next step which is 4. So for this 4, this time I'm going to hide my last two numbers. So I can just focus, guys. 3, 1, 2, 5. Now the cross multiplication. So 3 and 5 is going to be 15. And this is 2. 15 plus 2 is 17. And 17 plus 2 carry, which is going to be 19. So 9 here and 1 is a carry. Now the last digit, yeah, which is a 2. So for that, I'm going to consider my first and first number. So 3, 2 is a 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. I'm done, guys. So you can do it very, very quickly once you understand the method, guys. Friends, at the end, we are going to do a real challenging question of multiplying 786 with 954. This is going to be a real good question. If you can do this question, you can do any 3 by 3 multiplication by using crisscross method. Our system is not going to change at all, but we are dealing with a bigger numbers. So we'll have a carry. So sometimes if there are bigger numbers, we can write down here and add it so that it becomes a bit more clearer. Let's get started, guys. So my first step is 2. So my last two numbers, 4, 6, 24. So 4 here and 2 carry. Now my next step is going to be 4. So I'm going to hide my first two numbers. So 8, 4, 32 and 5, 6, 30. 32 plus 30, which is going to be 62. 62 plus 2 is 64. So now 4 here and 6 is going to be my carry. Now guys, bit bigger step of, can you see like a 6 number? So like I'll be multiplying 7 with 4, 9 with 6 and 8 with 5. But what am I going to do is, I'll be writing down all the numbers here guys, other than remembering that in my mind. So that will make me more faster. Like 9, 6, 54. I'll just write it down here. 7, 4, 28 here. And 8, 5, 40 right here. Now, whenever you are adding everything, you can be more creative. Like 54 plus 6 is 60. 60 plus 40, 100. 100 plus 28, 128, guys. Yeah? So you can be always more creative while adding up the stuff. But my last number 8, I'm going to write down here. And my carry is going to be 12. So 12 is the carry to be added in the next one. Now the next one is going to be the 4. So I'm going to hide my last two digit. So I'm going to do like 7, 5 is a 35. And 9, 8 is a 72. So I'll write down everything guys. Let's say 9, 8 is a 72 here. 7, 5 is a 35. And whenever I'm adding that up guys, I can be more creative. Like forget about that one guys. 70 plus 30 is 100. 100 plus 10 is 110. And then you can say 5 plus 2, 7 plus 2, 9. So 110 plus 9 is going to be 119. And the last digit 9, I can just put down here. And 11 is my carry. Now my last step guys of 2 
numbers only which are the two left numbers so 9 7 ja 63 and 63 plus 11 is going to be 74 which i can put down here and guys my question is done so any questions guys by using crisscross method once you master is you can multiply any three by three digit numbers guys congratulations my friends now all of you have learned three by three cross multiplication method successfully so this is a test time guys so i have a question for you if you can do 241 multiply by 526 by using this method and put this answer in the comment guys and i'll give you a thumbs up for the correct answer don't be lazy guys do it huh because whenever you put your learning into application then it becomes fun guys yeah so do this write in the comment and i'm going to give you a thumbs up guys